examining what I thought was a crime scene. I'm a private detective. Yeah. Um, uh, a friend of your father's. Another hardcore judge. We're playing hide and seek. Can we not discuss this in a more civilized manner? A lady should always act like a lady. We came to see your father, but found neither he nor you at home. Word will soon spread that my father has died. You appear rather ruffled, Miss Garth. But are you quite well? It's unfortunate, but I've had no choice but to take the law into my own hands. A uh, very thank you, Mrs. Parker. It's um, due to nothing more than a brisk morning walk. Yes, Eliza. The streets of London are not what they once were. Your father has hired me to do a job and thinks he can get away with not paying me because I'm a woman. It's exactly how you described Rupert, as bright as a button. You, you don't know how to boil an egg. Keep meaning to learn how to cook, but there's always something infinitely more interesting to do. And it's as simple as that. If a lady must walk, she should be in the company of a gentleman. What? To protect her. I don't know, I'm in a gun. How dare I come and rescue you? I would hardly call this a rescue. Ah. Go on. Go to your stupid club. I don't need your help anyway. <laughs> William! William! I know you're still here. Do not expect me to apologize, but try the patient for the sake. Ah. Two hours late. More tea. The city has changed. The crime, the filth. There's all manner of filth and grime in this place. A general miasma of loose morality. And those contraptions, what are they called? Is, is it bicycles, Mother? Oh, I agree. Being a detective must be such fun. <laughs> Every ten clients that come to see me, nine do it about turn when they see that it's not Henry Scarlet behind the desk, but his daughter. Oh, the best part of the job. <laughs> Roseanne. <clears throat> yes. Have I missed something? Get married, have children, and put all this nonsense behind me. Hmm? Your wedding? Oh, it's, um, it's a, a, a case I'm working. Alice Morgan, a Mrs. My husband's a solicitor from Edinburgh. We've been married for three years. We have no children, but two Yorkshire Terriers. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Unbelievable. Before you start yelling and thumping the desk, will you at least listen to what I have to say? No. Marvellous. Well, I'm going to say it anyway. I did not ask you to assault an officer of the law and get yourself arrested. <laughs> Again. Month in prison? It is. You need to rep the mum, PZ Honeychurch. Uh, so you wish me to be chivalrous when it suits, but treat you as an equal when it does not? Ah. Huh. Are you a woman or a detective? You do realise that she threatened to be, Inspector? Hmm. Of course, you would think that that's the easiest option. Why should there be a distinction? I would not ask you if you were a man or an inspector. Meaning what, exactly? You have rouge on your collar and you reek of whiskey. That you are happy to take the path of least resistance. That you increasingly rest on your laurels. That is why you resent my opinions, because they stir you from a self-imposed slumber. Marvellous. <sighs> I've got a card. Uh, do you have a few moments? When you say a few, another time. A parrot was found poisoned at a murder scene. It is Wednesday, Miss Scarlet. What? Get married, have children, and put all this nonsense behind me? I know what you're going to say. And what is that exactly? Laudanum, which, if taken in a large enough dose, could render the victim unconscious. And if death is the aim? Yes. You'll understand. You will. Have I not shown myself capable? Why must I continually have to prove myself to you? Why must you? A female detective. I'm a private detective. Have to prove yourself. That is your question. It's not fair. Spoken like a woman. <gasps> Do not be cross. It is you putting these words in my mouth. Oh. I have never seen you look so smart. 
What is the word? Stattlich. Stackel. Dashi. Handsome. Stattlich. Sorry, uh, you have been introduced to Miss Hildegard. Inspector Wellington is a detective. Really? You take a drink, Inspector? No. I cannot stay long. Brandy? That would be most welcome. <clears throat> the Metropolitan Police, then, I'm afraid I'm unable to accept that offer. Hmm. And I have some calling to do. I don't want to talk about it. Miss Scarlet and I... ...that I am the sole investor in Miss Scarlet's detective agency. <laughs> I, uh, wish to talk. Sorry, uh, when I am in need... I turn to Moses. Ask Moses. Mr. Moses, isn't it? Who's asking? Mr. Moses. It's just Moses. Uh, Mr. Moses, isn't it? It's just Moses. Mr. Moses. Like I said, it's just Moses. Surely we can come to an arrangement that will benefit us both. Fine. I think I like you. Ah. Some services I did for her. Nose being. Let's just say it's not that straightforward. Never is with you, baby. Jesus. Oh, for God's sake. For God's sake, Alessa, what the hell are you doing here? Fucking God's name. What is proven to be an extremely vexing week. I had an apple core thrown at my head and a parcel of feces waiting for me on the seat of my carriage. Ah. I assumed that it was dog, but who knows? No, you may not come. Even more unusual, the teacher to bring his wife. My wife? I specifically requested that you wait outside for your husband, madam. She's not my wife. I insist that you remove your wife. She's not my bloody wife. And if you could please refrain from swearing. <laughs> <sighs> Eliza, I would like to find a way that we can coexist without causing each other constant agitation. So would I. Father could see us now, he might mistake us for an old married couple. We will no doubt have a disagreement about something irrelevant. I can assure you, Eliza, if we were married, then I would not be cooking my own eggs. You do not deny it, William. Then it's a good job we're not married, then. Isn't it just? What do you say? <laughs> I've been thinking. <gasps> oh dear. That never bodes well. Do not want him to see you in such a muddle. Who? Dinner. I have dinner with me. I would like that. Well, you assumed I'd say yes. As I said, I am an eternal optimist. You are a rogue. I have that in writing. Let's play a game and see if we can reach Gilbert's without an argument. It's not me who argues, it's you. Eliza! You're right. The fault is always entirely mine. I'm sorry about that. I like this game. You should play it more often, William. Yes, Eliza. Let me take you home. There's only one woman that makes you this miserable. You do not deny it, William. I don't know what you're talking about. Your policeman! Your pardon? Look at the innocence! For him, clean up your stairs. Waiting for you, no doubt. Harlot! I am a say the chorus detective Inspector Wellington of Scotland Yard. Eliza! What are you a bloody woman, boy? Don't blame her. Eliza! I come. I know. What? What? I don't own a gun. Marvellous. <laughs> Give you a ride home, Moses.
Be my guest. For her sake. Let me be clear. I am a favorite whore of the pet Inspector Wellington. When she's kissed me, you're children to be in position of my favorite whore. I had to think of something. And that was no chase kiss. I remember comforting you at the time. I was 19, Eliza. You were 16, just sobbing into my arms when you were doing pillow. Comforting. You kissed me. I seem to remember you liked it. And I seem to remember that I sat your face. Ah. For the hundredth time. It's been three minutes. Just a kiss. Isn't it just? You enjoyed. 